everyone, today I'm going to give you my top tips for getting great brews no matter the brew method. Whether you have a French press, automatic brewer, V60, AeroPress, or even an espresso machine. I'll tell you how to get the best out of each of those using these simple methods. Okay, top tip number one is water. Great tasting water makes for great tasting coffee. City water typically has kind of a chlorine taste to it and it doesn't taste great. So I use reverse osmosis water that's been remineralized. Re and you can buy that in the grocery store. It's fairly cheap or you can have a system installed at your sink. If you can't do that, Brita is good enough. These things will remove a lot of the chlorine flavor and still give you a great tasting coffee. So, Great tasting water makes great tasting brews. Okay, tip number two is your grinder. Now, I know many of you probably have one of these whip grinders around the house. These are not very good for uh, grinding coffee, mainly because they can't get it evenly ground. They're really good for like nuts and spices, but for coffee, don't use them because they just can't get even grind. Buy a burr grinder. So you can get a hand grinder for as little as $25 or $30. You want to spend a little bit more to get an electric one that might cost upwards of $100. If you really want to go all out for your espresso, you can spend anywhere from $500 to $2,000 on a grinder. You know, the, better, the more money you spend, the better the grind quality. So, number two, get a good grinder. Okay, tip number three, brew by weight, not by volume. See these things? Toss them away. Don't use them. You can't get consistent brews if you're brewing by volume. Always brew with a brew scale of some sort. This is a $10 scale I picked up on Amazon. It's perfect for weighing out grounds. You want to go a little more expensive, you can get an Ohario V60 scale. It even has a timer built in to, to uh, track your brew time. And if you really want to go all out, you can get an Akaya scale. These are really excellent for brewing espresso. But number three tip, brew by weight, not by volume. Okay, tip number four, fresh coffee. Okay, look for a roast date. It should be roasted within the last eight weeks at the max, okay? Buy it in whole bean form and grind it when you brew. If you can't do that, then ju just buy enough coffee to last you four to six weeks. So, tip number four, fresh coffee. To summarize, tip one, great tasting water. Tip number two, a burr grinder. Tip number three, brew by weight. And finally, tip number four, fresh coffee.